What's up, my bro teen and bro Tinas? <laughs> I am uh, I'm at the gym right now, getting ready to do. I think I'm gonna do shoulders. Dan isn't here. He had uh, kids had basketball practice, so he had to go there. And I'm just gonna work out by myself and get weird with the camera. So, one thing I do want to say is everybody freaks out about cheat meals or like Thanksgiving, like holiday meals and stuff. One thing you gotta realize is don't freak out about that stuff. It's one day. If your meals and everything throughout the week have been real, have been good, and you aren't like overindulging too much, one day is not gonna kill you. For me, I didn't put on any weight and I didn't lose any weight, so I just stayed right where I just stayed right in the middle, right where I was at, which is good. And I ate a ton. I had two Thanksgivings. I had one uh, before work and then one for my lunch at work. They had free meals. So one thing, don't freak out about it. It's one day. Don't like go crazy and like, oh, I gotta burn everything off right now. Like it's it's literally it's one day. You're gonna be good. You're gonna be fine. It's not the end of the world. If it sets you back a little bit, it's not gonna set you back terribly. And there's always gonna be setbacks. The first time I was losing weight, I've rolled my ankle within the first week of me doing it, and I was still fine. Like, I still, you just push through it, you can do what you can do with injuries and stuff, but like, for when it comes to eating, like, as long as you are on point for most of your, your week, like, don't ever strive to be, like, perfect, because you'll never be perfect always just go just do the best you can man that's all literally anybody can ever ask for is just do the best you can um everybody's gonna fall off like last week i had i was craving chicken wings like craving chicken wings at work and i was like hey guys like i'm gonna go <laughs> to b-dubs and pick up some food and got b-dubs and i mean it wasn't the greatest meal it wasn't like the greatest meal for me i had chicken wings uh mozzarella sticks nachos and wedges like i was i was killing it and it was delicious but like at the end of the day if you're if your meals and everything are good unless you're like prepping for like a show or something then it's a little different than you you should be 100 percent or at least try to be but uh if you're just trying to lose weight and stuff don't get freaked out about a, a cheat meal and don't even call it a cheat meal call it a refill meal because like i was eating probably like 12 to 1500 calories before yesterday and then yesterday, probably about like 3,500 to 4,000 calories. So like, you're just balancing it out. It happens, everybody falls off. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Just the next day, just make it better. Make sure that you can, uh, you get all of your, your food in, the right food and all that stuff and you'll be fine. But I'm gonna head up in here, get some shoulders in and I will see you guys when I get in the gym. What is going on friends? I'm doing a voiceover for this one as you can see. So first thing I started with was the military shoulder press. Super simple, super easy. Just press that weight over your head. That's about it. All right, the next thing I did was uh, a clean and press. So it's a pretty pretty advanced move, CrossFit move. So what you want to do is you do, you, it's literally the same thing as it sounds. Is you just do a clean hang clean and you press it up and you always want to keep your body in a line so you don't hurt your back. All right guys, next thing I did was side lateral raises and I added a little tiny pause at the top just to get a little bit more of a workout in. I did super lightweight. I wasn't going for like, uh, for anything else other than just like the little burn that you get. So I just hold it right at the top um, and that starts to burn after a minute. Next thing I did was a uh, one arm dumbbell row. And what you wanna do here is keep your back flat and bring the weight up to your chest and keep your arm pinched in so when you get to the top, you squeeze that back muscle. All right, to be honest with you guys, I have no idea what these are called, but my boy Cole told me that I should do these because it's good for your lats. So what you do is you stand at a 45 degree angle, your angle, your body canted, and then just pull it to your hips and use your back muscles. To be honest, I don't, I'm not really sure what these are either. It's kind of like a different variation of a uh, cable row. So, I mean, it's the same concept as a cable row. 
I did a different type of cardio today. I did cycling and it burns the legs. <laughs> I have a much more respect for people who do it now. All right, guys, I just finished up my workout and it is that time of the day. You already know what I'm about to say. If you know what I'm about to say, comment below what I'm about to say. I'll pause, I'll wait. All right, guys, it's time to stretch. So always remember to stretch. I don't gotta say it enough. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm back in my car. And if you haven't noticed yet, um, I've been using a different lens. It's a, a wide angle lens for my phone. So comment, tell me if you like it. Um, if you like the if you like the wide angle, then we will keep it. If not, then I'll try to incorporate the other other one in it. But I do like the wide angle for um, just like slimming purposes. You gotta you gotta keep it nice and slim. <laughs> but I actually have to get in here, get something to eat, and then I gotta go to work like always. So I just want to leave you guys with if if you have one bad day, that does not negate. All the work that you did it really doesn't it might seem like it you might seem like a, a slob or you might seem this way or that way but if you have one bad day out of six or five good days you have two bad days like it's really not the end of the world unless you like completely go off the deep end so just don't don't be discouraged by having a bad day everybody literally everybody has a bad day Michael Jordan made so many game-winning shots and he also missed so many game-winning shots so don't feel like just because you mess up, it's the end of the world. Actually, I will get in here. I will show you guys my weight now um, since this will probably be the last video you see for this week because tomorrow I'm going to go to a bar <laughs> and watch the Ohio State game. So hopefully, you know, OSU romps on Michigan. So <laughs> um, I will get in here, show you guys my weight, and then uh, we, will, we will end it, end the video. So I love you guys, and I will see you in uh, just a second. All right, guys, what I'm about to do, I'm about to jump on the scale, and then I'll show you guys the numbers, show that, show you what, what happened to me from eating. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I don't think I gained any weight, but, I mean, I think I just stayed about the same. So um, I will let you guys see it, and then we'll be done. All right, guys, as you can see, Thanksgiving did not do, like, the worst thing. And like I said before, man, I had... A ton of food I had two dinners um, so it's not the end of the world if you eat one day just like big like a lot of people think it's good for you just to keep it keeps you sane you know like you're on this this diet and sometimes people go on on crazy diets one meal to keep you sane or one day to keep you sane is not gonna kill you so with that being said I am out of here I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, and I will see you at the next video, guys. Peace. Remember, the secret is love. <laughs>